field because there's no religion and no society that, that rewards promiscuity. Let's make that clear. The modern Western promiscuous male idea is not is frowned upon in every society. Not saying these men don't do it. They do it. It's frowned upon. In societies of old, you had wives, you had concubines. But this idea of I'm going to go through the village and slay them all? No, 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 no. And you're saying historically. Yeah, historically okay. speaking, no, no, that's frowned, you don't, that's frowned upon. Oh, I'm smashing a neighbor's wife. No, that's frowned upon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So in this idea of you as a successful man bringing multiple women into your life, I understand that. But what men are doing today is frowned upon. Give an example. In a lot of, like, like in, 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 in the Bible, it's, a, it's, it's crazy rules. We're getting into it now. But in a lot of cultures, especially um, Islamic and Christian cultures, a woman not being a virgin is, is frowned upon. That is like taboo. Yeah. So if you are a guy and you're going around the village smashing and taking all the girls' virginity, now when the dudes want to marry them, in, the, in, that, in these cultures, yo, I'm not marrying that girl. So I, 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 I describe it. It's going to be very offensive to some women who are going to be watching this. But <laughs> I describe it as like the, 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 as the ice cream shop. Imagine you're at an ice cream shop and you want, what's your fa favorite flavor of ice cream? Vanilla. Keep it vanilla ice cream. What's your favorite flavor? Strawberry. strawberry. You want vanilla cone? You want a strawberry cone? We, all, we, we, want, we want ice cream. Yes, sir. There's a guy in front of us in line. He's there initially. I like vanilla too. I want vanilla as well. We both want vanilla. You want strawberry. We're, we're at the ice cream shop. The guy comes in and he says, man, I actually don't want to buy any ice cream. I just want to test him out. He takes his finger, dips it in the ice cream. Oh, vanilla. It's okay. Dips it in the strawberry. <laughs> oh, strawberry. It's okay. Chocolate. You know, sherbet. Um, cookies and he's digged his hand in all the ice creams. I don't want any of them. I'm going to leave. Do you want the ice cream? You put his finger in it. Do you want it? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm no, <laughs> he ruined the ice cream for everybody. Yeah, that's what a lot of these guys are doing. They're saying, I don't want to marry these girls. I don't want. I want to, and they're running through them, damaging them, taking advantage of them, hurting them. The good ones. And then now, a lot of guys like, I don't want that cone anymore. Yeah. And so, to me, there's this moral responsibility as a man where, like, yo, you got to think about the community. You got to think about other people besides yourself itself when you're running through the streets. And it's, it's two-sided, it's too, too though, right? Because on one end, like, although, like, um, there's, like, the... I wonder that I think that that is like a godly perspective. And I think that's one that I try to take on. Like sometimes you, you even have to want better for the, even a girl may even want for themselves, you know, where like you're conscious of the fact that, Hey, I know you're saying you're cool with this, you know, friends with benefits, you're cool with this one night or whatever, but I know I'm putting my finger in this ice cream and it's not going to help you long term. I know deep down the God version of you should be moving in this way, not that way. Mm -hmm. So, you know what, let me, you know, make the responsible community decision. Mm -hmm. But then on another end, there is a lot of people who are like, yo, that's what's up, that you just tasted all these flavors. <laughs> and, and, and those are the same guys who complain that there's no good women. Those are the same guys that say all these girls say are Instagram models, OnlyFans model, all these girls are for the street, all these girls are run through, all these girls are damaged. Those are the same guys. And we, and we have to, if, think about it, if you're, if you're celebrating the dudes who are damaging all the eggs in the grocery store, don't complain that all the eggs in the grocery stores are freaking damaged. Don't complain about it. You want to give you want to give a guy a medal. That's why I've oh I've never celebrated male promiscuity. We've talked about it in my Big Brother series, video lesson number eight. Sex is not an accomplishment. I've never celebrated. It's not because I know what's going on. I'm you're you're not helping society. Yeah, and, and what I love about and to, I think this might be able to way to bring it all together too. What I, what I love about that is I think that. I think that we got to get to a point where we graduate from like when you're in high school as a, as a dude, it's like, yo, like we're trying to figure this thing out. Like, yo, I just, I just got so-and-so's number. She's, you know, the baddest in the class or whatever, whatever. But you got to get to a certain point where it's like, yo, like 
all right, you know, we getting chicks is not a hard thing to do. Like everybody, like we all can do this now. And I think that some people don't get to that point, and it's almost like you you never graduated to like accepting the fact that hey, look, like it's not as to your point, it's not as much of an accomplishment as you think. And I think when you surround yourself with men of excellence, they, you you get to that point where it's not. It's like. You're all, if you're messing with a lot of chicks, you're almost doing it for yourself. Yeah. Because nobody's like, whoa, that's, you know, nobody's like cheering you. I mean, you get Rihanna or something, else, maybe, but in general, yeah. it's, it's yeah. like, you know, it's like, all right, like, cool. So I think that, like, um, more heroes, more men of excellence could kind of standardize certain things. I mean, after, after a certain age, after a certain maturity point where it won't be celebrated as much because it's, it's light. It's, yeah. it, you know, it's, it, it's easy. 100% and 